I was finishing up my X100V tutorial course and realized that camera manuals kind of suck, don't they? This isn't a dig on Fujifilm. All manufacturers write camera manuals that just suck. One of the pieces of documentation that's really lacking for the Fujifilm cameras that have an optical viewfinder, like the X-Pro series or the X100 series, is how to use that corrected AF frame and what it does. That's a menu option, uh, but there's really not a lot on it. The corrected AF frame is if you're using the optical viewfinder, so you're composing through that little piece of glass, looking directly through the glass, the autofocus system is not focusing through the glass. The autofocus system is using the lens, which as you'll notice is in a different location than the optical viewfinder. So if your subject is really close to you, those focus points are not going to line up. And that's what the corrected AF frame will help you fix. Go ahead and like the video and subscribe and the, just kidding. Let's look at some diagrams to explore this a little further. So here's what we would see through the optical viewfinder if we put these flowers, which were really close to us, smack in the center of the optical viewfinder. Those solid lines represent the field of view of our optical viewfinder, and you see that autofocus point is right smack over the center of those flowers. But where is our camera actually going to focus through the lens? Here the dashed line represents the field of view of our lens, and it's barely even catching the flowers. They're cut off, just showing up on the left side of what our camera sees, and slightly higher. That autofocus area is nowhere near the flowers, so our autofocus is going to try to focus on nothing because it's so far away from what we thought looking through the optical viewfinder. But as that subject gets further and further away from our camera, it's going to start lining up more and more between what we see in the optical viewfinder and what the lens would see and what the lens is going to try to focus on. The subject gets further and further away, it gets smaller and smaller, and they just start to line up more. Eventually, where they get to a point reaching infinity, where what the optical viewfinder sees and what the lens sees are going to be more or less lined up. So this is that parallax effect. To fix this, you're going to go to the last page of the AF MF setting menu and go to corrected AF frame. When this is off, you're going to see one single autofocus area superimposed on your optical viewfinder. So this is what it would look like with single point selected if you were pointing it at a gray wall, I suppose. And you can move this around just like you can move the focus areas in the EVF or the LCD. But when we turn the corrected AF frame on, now we get another autofocus area that shows up below and to the right of that first autofocus frame. And in single point, this will be dashed. The autofocus frame on the upper left assumes that your subject is at a distance of infinity. If your subject was so far away you couldn't even measure the distance, that's where you would want to put it to focus. The autofocus area on the lower right is your corrected AF frame if your subject was at the minimum focus distance for the optical viewfinder, which is 50 centimeters or about 1.6 feet for my American friends. But that makes sense, right? Because the optical viewfinder is above and to the left of the lens. So our lens would want to focus on something really close down and to the right. So now let's go back to our diagram. Let's assume that these flowers are at our minimum focus distance. But right now, they're centered up in the optical viewfinder. The corrected AF frame is going to tell us where to put them at that minimum distance. So we're going to have to put these flowers underneath that dashed box in order to ensure that the autofocus point is going to line up. So we do that, as you can see in this diagram here. Now, it's to the right of the optical viewfinder, but centered up on the lens. We press the shutter button halfway the camera is going to attempt to get a focus lock at that corrected focus distance, and that active focus point now turns green, telling us that it did lock a focus on our subject at that distance. 
The other thing that you will see here is that your framing guideline for your overall composition will also jump to give you an idea as you're looking through the optical viewfinder, what your framing, your composition is going to look like when captured through the lens. So now what about if those flowers were really far away, closer to infinity, or I don't know how to measure infinity, just something really far. So we have them lined up in the optical viewfinder here, but we can't put them underneath the dashed box because that's gonna to try to focus at about one and a half feet. So we're going to keep them more or less where they're at. Maybe we can move them slightly more towards the dashed box, but we wanna keep them roughly in that autofocus frame, which is at a distance of infinity. So let's move it over a tiny bit, press the shutter button halfway, and now the camera is going to focus along that line, connecting the two autofocus areas, and finally lock focus on those flowers. The framing guideline will also jump over just a tiny bit to give you an idea of what your composition looks like. So that's how we focus on something at 50 centimeters or one and a half feet, and also at a distance of infinity. But what about in between the two? You're just going to have to guess but the corrected AF frame is a guide. If you connect those two boxes, those two autofocus areas, you just put your subject somewhere along that imaginary line between those two areas. The closer your subject is to the camera, the closer you want it to that dashed box or the box to the lower right. The further away it is, the more you want it towards that autofocus frame in the upper left. So the camera will search for something to focus on between those two autofocus areas. And that's hopefully where you put your subject. When it does grab a lock, that autofocus area will turn green, showing you that it has focused on that point at that distance. And then based on that distance, we'll move your framing guideline to show you what your composition looks like. Once your camera has focused at that distance, the new AF frame uh, the upper left frame, if you will, is going to be set at that distance. So if your camera focused on something 30 feet away, that autofocus frame will be set for a distance of 30 feet, not infinity. So if your subject is maintaining the same distance of about 30 feet, then just use that normal autofocus frame. If your distance to the subject changes quite a bit, you're going to have to reset the system. And to do that, just point the camera off at infinity, command autofocus, and it will reset that AF frame to infinity and still show you the corrected AF frame for 50 centimeters. If you have any questions, uh, need, need any more further clarification or have any comments about how you use the corrected AF frame, go ahead and leave them below and we will have a nice civilized YouTube discussion. Thank you and see you next time.